much. Care package ready. Show us where you want it. What's up, YouTube? This is Headshot, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best HD PBR settings out of Sony Vegas. First thing, open up Total Media Extreme. Once Total Media Extreme is open, leave the top part default, but go down to Format Settings. Under Format Settings, we're only going to change one thing: is the bit rate. Make sure that you put the bit rate on 10.0 megabytes. 13.5 shows that it's the best, but 10.0 gives better quality leave everything else in here default hit apply hit ok now make sure that playstation 3 is selected there's no difference between xbox 360 and ps3 quality it's just that xbox 360 is a different format and it lags more in sony vegas uh... unchecked enable preview on recording and make sure that hardware acceleration is checked close that now in Sony Vegas, go to File, hit New. Under Template, make sure you put HDV 720 by 30 p Now for frame rate, we're going to go down to Double NTSD. And for Deinterlace method, we're going to put it on None. If it's on Blend Field, make sure you put it on None. Everything else is default. Make sure you check Adjust Source Media and make sure you check Start All New Projects with these settings. Hit OK. And then now you can go ahead and drag your clip in. Now when your clip's in here, you're going to hit pan crop. And you're just going to drag it down just a little bit so you can't see the black bars. Make sure that these two over here are checked so it drags it down evenly. I already have a preset for it. Now your quality, if you want to render it like this, would be good. But to make it better... What you're going to do is you're going to go up to color curves. You're going to drag reset to none down on the clip. Now for the top bar, you're going to drag it up halfway. And for the bottom bar, you're going to do as well as drive it down, drag it down halfway. Don't drag it down to all the way to the bottom line. Don't drag it all the way up to the top line. It's good like that. Now drag bright, bright and bright on the clip. And just drop it there and just leave it. Now one more thing, we're going to add a sharpen. But for sharpen, we're going to going to drag reset to none we're just going to drop it on the clip once we're done with that if you guys want to add other effects that's up to you but since we're done with this we're going to go up to file go to render as now make sure your save as type is main concept abc slash aac and your template I already have one made but just go ahead and put default template and click custom include video Make sure it's custom frame size 1280 by 720. Allow sources unchecked. Profile is main. Frame rate is 59.94. Allow sources unchecked. Field order, non progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio 1.0. Uh, number of reference frames 2. And then make sure you have a uh, D block filter checked. Go up and uh, click on a constant bitrate and put it on 14 million click on audio leave sample rate as 44 but put bit rate all the way up to 192,000 now for project for vendor uh, for use project settings put it on best obviously you're gonna have it on best make sure to leave a comment put a thumbs up if this video helped you with your quality and subscribe thanks